Welcome to the Armory. I'm Nathan. So the other day uh, I was, you know, doing some research on the assault weapons uh, ban that they're trying to push through, and I got to see old Joe Biden on a webcast talking to a young man who actually did some research and presented some questions of fact to him. And it was very interesting, Mr. Biden's response. Uh, the, the young gentleman said, Mr. Biden, if there is an emergency and there's a, you know, a hurricane, natural disaster, something that causes a uh, without rule of law situation, like has happened, like Hurricane Katrina, wouldn't it behoove us to have assault weapons? And old Joe's like, well, no, no, assault weapons won't do any good. You really, people really can't hit very well, hit things with assault weapons. You know it'll work. A good old double barrel shotgun's all you need. So, uh, gangs of looters roaming around, raping people, stealing stuff, and a good old double barrel shotgun is exactly what you need, uh, according to the Vice President of the United States. I'm a hunter and I know. So a guy who's gone out and shot a few ducks with a double barrel shotgun thinks it's the end all be all to uh, defensive strategy. I'm sorry, but you see this double barrel shotgun? I actually, last time I shot it is when I went out and tried to shoot a duck with it. But besides that, it has sat in my gun safe for, I don't know, maybe six years. Uh, the only time I ever break this thing out is when I go bird hunting or I go to shoot skeet. I have no offensive, defensive, sorry, defensive capabilities for this weapon at all. This thing in my house is useless for defense. You want to know why? Because I have something a lot better for that. All right. So would you prefer a double barrel shotgun if somebody broke into your house? Or would you prefer a similar shotgun that has 10 shells in it? That's right, this shotgun looks the same, same size, will shoot 10 times before I have to bother reloading it. Semi-automatic. So again, if I were going to take on a roving band of looters, I would much prefer a 10 shot 12 gauge to a two shot 12 gauge. It's just common sense, and I'm sure you on the other end would if you had to choose between the two shot and the ten shot. If you said, no, I want the two shot, uh, you would just be, I, I don't even know what you'd be thinking if you said that. Everyone would pick the ten shot over the two shot in an emergency situation or in a home defense situation. So again, he's being ridiculous as always. I, I've never seen the man not be ridiculous, sorry. Uh, again, I, I want to give fair and balance though. Uh, the prior president, George Bush, he was about equally ridiculous. Biden and George Bush are just ridiculous individuals. The, the things that come out of their mouths just are astounding to me. But anyway, let's move on. So, uh, they want to uh, outlaw assault weapons. So, let's say somebody, uh, you know, natural disaster occurs like Katrina or something like this. The reason I bought this rifle right here, I bought this in 2005. I bought this a week after Katrina because I watched the news footage of Katrina of those refugee people, which they don't call refugees because, oh, they're still in the same country they're originally in, so they're not refugees. It's like, okay, so a refugee is somebody who crosses a border? I think a refugee is a refugee. That means you're uh, uh, displaced and without a home and without any means to support yourself. But when I saw Katrina happen, I went out less than a week after and bought an AR because I told myself that would never happen to me. If I get this place from my home, I and my family are leaving and this is going with me and I'm going to protect myself. And again, I could take the, the 10 shot 12 gauge, I can take the 2 shot 12 gauge, but this is much more effective in my hands. I am trained on it, I know how to use it, I have 30 round instead of you know 2 or 10, I've got 30 round magazine. Those have an effective range of 50 yards or less. I can shoot out to 200 plus with this one and hit human sized targets. So again, this is a much more effective weapon. Also, you can do suppressing fire with this and make other people run away. Would I ever wanna to have to use any of these weapons on anyone? No, of course not. But if I were in a horrible situation in a natural disaster where the cops could not come to help me, I would much rather have this to protect myself than those because they don't shoot far enough. Again, uh, you know, in a civil defense emergency, the AR-15 is what our soldiers and what our cops pick up to carry, and it's what I would choose to pick up and carry too. All right? So, again, that's another good reason for uh, not banning assault rifles. Now, 
the, the thing they say about assault rifles are, oh, well, these bad people use them, blah, blah, blah. So, um, just so you know, assault rifles were used in about 1% of crimes last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. So only about 1% of criminals actually use this. Now, yeah, there's occasionally the person who's not really a criminal, who's a crazy psychopath who wants to kill a bunch of people and commit suicide. That's called a rampage killer, okay? A rampage killer is much different than a criminal. A criminal is a person who likes to go out and uh, do things like steal, rob people. You know, he's got a plan, uh, a lifestyle. He's a criminal. Okay, a rampage killer typically is a suicidal individual who wants to kill as many people as possible before he commits suicide. That is a very different type of uh, bad guy to deal with, a rampage killer versus a typical criminal. So there's two sides of the story. Do we want to focus on the rampage killers who are crazy and nuts, or do we want to focus on the criminal aspect who are the day in, day out, there's millions of them in our society. There's the, you know, just, just anyway. So they want to outlaw these, me having this, because some rampage killer went and used it on some people. Okay, and how often does that happen? Let's see, there was Sandy Hook. Um, uh, he used an AR, okay, Sandy Hook. And then there was um, da, 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 uh, Aurora. He used a shotgun, a pistol, and an AR, and the AR went down. But he bought an AR and used an AR. The guy at Sandy Hook killed his mom and stole hers because he couldn't buy one. Uh, Clackamas, Oregon, shot two people, concealed carry person, foiled him. He had an AR that he stole from a friend. Uh, so, again, three ARs, um, uh, you know, and, and that's three times it's happened in recent history. That's what we call a copycat. And uh, some of them weren't even used to very good effect. But again, three people are going to dictate an entire class of weapon that has been around for 40 years. Three a-holes get to, to take away my rights. I mean, talking about letting them win, I mean... Not only did they get to uh, kill a whole bunch of people before they killed themselves, uh, except for the guy in Aurora who is, thinks he's the Joker and let himself get arrested because I'm sure he thinks he's going to escape Arkham and get to do it again before Batman catches him again and he escapes again. But anyway, he's a nut job. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I digress, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, they the three a-holes get to take this away from me. All right. That's, that's terrific, you know, and why do the politicians want to take it with me? Why can't they see this just a bunch of a-holes and it's not really the problem they think it is? Reason is, is they don't want me to have any of these. He doesn't want me to have that double barrel peepaw shotgun. Uh, he knows that he's going to take this away first, then he's going to take away my sidearm, and then he's going to take away the, uh, the shotgun. So again, uh, you have to understand, they are not trying to do an assault weapons ban. They are trying to do a complete gun ban but can't get it through, so they're starting with assault weapons. So everyone needs to vehemently oppose this. Write your congressman, write your representative, your senator. Uh, you can go on a website called Popbox. I'll include a link below this video. And you can go and vote quite easily on these subjects to let uh, the politicians know where you stand. Now, right now, Feinstein's bill that she's put out there is pretty much uh, is dead on arrival. It has come out so late after things have started, because she just released it like on the 24th, she sat on it so long that now that it's come out, it's already being shoved into the judicial, uh, judicial committee to be tabled. It probably will never even hit the floor of the Senate. Uh, by the way, it would never even get through the House of Republicans, even if it got through the Senate. But it's probably not going to even get through the Senate. They're going to go after magazines and a few other things, background checks, but Feinstein's assault weapon ban is dead on arrival. The problem is, is if another a-hole goes out with one of these and shoots up a bunch of kids or a bunch of uh, adults, then she's going to have another burst of support. So we need to continue, we need to make it known that we don't want these banned. In fact, we want to start taking steps towards increasing our gun rights to set the bar higher for them to push back on. They want to take away all our guns? Well, should we hold our ground? Should we just wait here and just keep pushing them back? Or should, as soon as we knock them back and slap them down, say, okay, we want, uh, you know, more gun rights. We want, uh, 
you know, a law saying you can't ban high capacity magazines. Uh, and then they're like, oh, oh, what do you mean can't ban them? That way, when they come up and want to ban them again, there's a law against it that they would have to revoke before they could ban it. So make their job that much harder. So again, get out there, vote your mind, uh, look at some facts and statistics. Uh, don't believe me, don't believe other people you see on the news or YouTube. Go look this crap up for yourself. Go to the FBI statistics on the FBI website and go to the Center of Disease Control for statistics. They're all out there. You'll see where the problems in our society are by looking at those uh, numbers and facts. So again, thank you. Uh, oppose the assault weapons ban. Uh, go to Popbox to do it quite easily. I joined up the other day and I'll include a link and God bless America. Long live the Republic.